This is the new baby in our family. A baby doll. A famous doll. Archie Bunker's grandson, Joey Stivick. So, of course, he's special. Your child can give him a drink from his bottle, then he wets. And when his diaper is changed, it's clear that Joey Stivick is a physically correct boy doll. Is a physically correct boy doll. Is a physically correct boy doll. My husband and I think that's terrific. Archie Bunker's grandson, Joey Stivick, by Ideal, is a physically correct boy doll. Physically correct boy doll. Physically correct boy doll. What a great idea. Boy, the way Glenn Miller played. Songs that made the hit parade. In the early 1970s, there was hardly a television show that was as big and controversial as All in the Family. The show starred Carol Connor as the working class stuck in his old-fashioned ways, Archie Bunker, who was the father of light-headed Gloria and the husband of a dingbat wife, Edith. Also in the household was Mike, a.k.a. Meathead a far-left liberal who would be called a social justice warrior today by any standards. In 1975, the Bunker family got a little bigger. Gloria and Meathead had a son, Joey Stivick. With the news abuzz about the new addition to the show, Ideal Toy Company, the maker of such classic toys as the Evil Knievel Stunt Cycle and Shaker Maker, decided they would strike when the iron was hot. So they released the Joey Stivick Doll. Now this was the mid-70s. A baby doll on the market? That was nothing new. We had dolls that could copy kids, that wet themselves, and even dolls you could feed. But this doll was unlike any other baby doll found on the market. First, let's look inside the box, and you'll see a problem right off. It comes with a clear plastic bag around its head, something you really don't want kids to think is okay to do with a baby. Taking the doll out of the box, you're greeted with a huge forehead. Never mind those baby blues, all you can see is that 40 year old man receding hairline and that huge, and I mean huge, forehead. Flipping him over reveals that he'll need his membership card to the hair club for men. But all that may have made the doll ugly, but it didn't make it one of the most f***ed up toys ever. You have to look past that giant forehead. It was clear the doll, without a doubt, was a boy. A very happy and proud boy. What the fuck? I guess you had to put something down there? It was a boy after all, but did they have to go into so much detail? Can you imagine being the toy designer coming to work and had to design this baby doll penis? And not only that, they had to brag about it on the television commercials and on the box, how it was a real boy doll. It's clear that Joey Stivick is a physically correct boy doll. My husband and I think that's terrific. Why do you and your husband think that's terrific? Well, this is episode one of a series where I hope to find the most f***ed up toy ever released. But to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to find anything that surpasses this one. This might be a series of just one and done, because this is probably the most f***ed up released toy I've ever seen. Well, I want to thank you for watching. As always, please subscribe to the channel, thumb up so I know you like my content, and we'll talk again soon. What a great idea. Junk Man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>